Hey guys, welcome to practice. This week I've called the practice Soulful Connection Practice and it's one of my favourites. It's a way of exploring bringing energy into the body, allowing that energy to move into the energy of love, so connecting with the heart, the idea of heartfulness which sits well uh, within the concept of mindfulness. So many of the Asian languages, mindfulness translates to both mindfulness and to heartfulness as well. So light into life, life into love, and then just coming back through and experimenting with the flow between those three things. Um, so if that sounds interesting, we'll see where it takes us. I'd love for you to join me in this short practice. So if you're ready, just allowing the eyes to close, bringing your attention as usual to the breath, being curious about this unique snowflake breath, Exploring the shape of this breath, the texture of this breath, the design of this breath, the pattern of this breath, and just welcoming it exactly as it is. The breath is always right there as the doorway into our practice. It allows us to arrive, it shows us the way. And with awareness, we can tether with the breath and it will guide us into body awareness. So the breath moves into the body, awareness drops into. The lungs expand and release. The body is set in a wave of motion. Breath and body intertwine, interconnect, awareness does so too. And as we breathe, we can begin imagining the idea of breathing light into the body. Now this light can be any colour you wish. I often choose white light, but I'll leave that open to you. So just breathing white light, visualizing light, moving in on the breath into the body. Light breathes into life. That's you, your breathing body, that's life. Life moves into love. And if a visual helps, just bringing the light into the heart. Allowing that flow just to be energized in its own way. And just watching what occurs as we breathe light into the heart. Just imagining what that feels like. And the degree to which you're able to do that is perfect. So light into life, life into love, love into life. And we can imagine the life, the love expanding through the physical body the up and the down, the left and the right, including the legs, the feet, the hands, the arms, the neck, the head, the skin, the scalp, the eyes, the nose, the ears. And just allowing all of that just to be included. So light into life, life into love, love, into life and life back out into light. So that's our breath and it's a breath with a visualization. We don't know, we don't need to worry which bit comes on the inhale and which on the exhale. So just see what feels right in your experience. As we breathe light into life, life into love, love into life, 
and life into light. And for me, the visual for life back into light is the whole body shining brightness. So the light actually moves out from the body. So initially for me, the light comes in as a channel on the breath into the body, moves into the body and then into the heart. Then from the heart, it emanates and expands out through the body again. And then from the heart back out into the air around me as light again. But following your own visual, following your own rhythm, breathing light into life, life into love, love into life and life into light. And sometimes it's nice just to set an intention for this practice. Is there somebody, some situation, some challenge or anything that you would like to bring this heartful loving awareness to or just hold in your awareness as you practice and just leaving that open for you and optional. Allowing light into life. Life into love. Love into life. and life into light. And just taking that forward for a few breaths on your own. Noticing yourselves connected in community through this practice to all others who are practicing together. Noticing what it feels like, maybe just completing the words I'm noticing in my body and noticing in my mind and noticing on the breath. And gradually as we prepare to draw the threads of this short practice together, Finding an intention that feels right to take this forward into your day. And in your very own time, allowing the eyes to reopen. So I hope you enjoyed that soulful practice. Do let me know what it felt like. And if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear them. I'll see you next week. Bye.